Welcome back to my studio. I'm Bea Group and I love to inspire you. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So glad you are here again. And if you are new here, I'm glad you found my channel. Now today's video collaboration is for the hashtag let us start with art. This is basically anything you can put on the wall, art, not any art journals or tags or ATCs. And don't get me wrong here, I do like those things too, but I wanted to have sort of a theme for this video hop. Now for myself personally, I also did challenge myself to have just monochromatic and so far I have been good. So there is only like two months left and I could keep on with doing monochromatic paintings. I wasn't sure whether I do have enough ideas. So talking about ideas, let's dive to the table and I show you what I have done before and what kind of supplies I use. As always, I try to test out things first on art journal pages or sometimes on postcards, mail art or whatever. This time I did this kind of painting. It's an abstract painting again. And as you can see, there is mostly black and white, which mixed give, together gives gray and just the tiniest bit of, an, of the umbra. Talking about the colors, that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use uh, a dark um, uh, umber, uh, oxide black and some white acrylic paints. But I'm going to start actually sketching in things with charcoal. I do have both kind of charcoals. I have the, the willow, but I also have the compressed charcoal and I'm probably going to use that. Then... Uh, you can see here I do have brushes. I do have like an inch brush and uh, that's the inch brush and uh, a three quarter inch brush. Not sure which I'm going to use. And I do have a palette. And over here that's the palette paper where I'm going to put my paint. I also have gel mat. You're going to see what I'm going to use that for. Then I have a really special tool. I did cover one of my um, roller brayers with some lacy fabric and it sew it together to here so I'm just gonna need it for mark making. Then I have an acrylic marker. It happened to have Posca pen and I'm gonna need that ruler because I'm not good in drawing straight lines. I also do have oil pastels. I actually did use it here. You probably can't see the sheen. Not sure if I'm going to use it again, we'll see. And then I have a black and a white china marker. Those are those oil-based markers, which resist a little bit. I have pieces of newspaper, the print parts. I'm, I'm interested in the print parts, not in the images. Like, I'm not interested in that, I want the print parts. And I also do have one of those metal folds. They're not the real stuff. It's just metal, silver color. And then I have a canvas. It's a deep canvas. It's a 12 by 12 inch or 30 by 30 centimeters. Now, as usual, I'm gonna do a time lapse. But if you have any question, if something isn't clear, don't hesitate to ask me something, whatever you want in the comments. So with no further ado, let's dive into working.
Okay, here we are with the finished piece. Now, it's a little bit hard to see, I guess, with the glare from the silver foil. Anyway, I didn't use any oil pastels this time because there is enough silver in my opinion. And um, I did struggle a little bit with the newspaper transfer, so it did work here, but it didn't work here. Not completely, let's say that. You see a little bit of a texture. I don't know whether you can see it on camera, but it's not like here where you actually can see letters. It's more the lines of the sentence. So, so it's always hard to tell whether the, those transfers with the newspaper work or not. You have to live with that and I'm totally fine with that. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and don't forget to go to the others down below. There is the video hop links to see what there are coming up for Let Us Start With Art. See you next time. Take care.